Hi everyone, my name is Julie. Thank you so much for watching. Today we are barefaced in a bathrobe and I was just too lazy to do my makeup today. <laughs> I normally reserve barefaced and in a bathrobe when I'm like kind of down on myself, but uh, I was just too lazy to do my makeup today. It is Easter weekend and I don't want to go outside. I don't want to put on makeup. I just, you know, listen. <laughs> Hashtag real life. I don't want to wear makeup, so I don't have to wear makeup to film. I'm just going to film anyway. <laughs> now, of course, per usual, I do have a lip product on because while I'm barefaced in a bathrobe, my lips are important to me. Plus, I got to finish up 18 of these stinking <laughs> lip products this year, so I'm wearing one. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just think this is really funny because, like, <laughs> out of all the days I have to film, today is the day I have to film, and, like, <laughs> I don't want to do makeup, so I'm not going to. Welcome to my channel. My name is Julie. <laughs> okay, let's dive in because I finally finished one lip product. One lip product and it's the exact one that I thought it was going to be. This is the, the um, e.l.f. Lip Plumper in the Dual Oasis. I have finished up this clear gloss. You can see it is all gone. You can see right through the package. I started here. That was my last update. Very simple to finish. Very simple to finish. And I actually thought I was really close to finishing this one. I thought I might finish it before this update, but I didn't because I was finishing another lip gloss in my Spring Project Pan, but that's cool because we all know that these take me really uh, no time at all to finish. So this is the pink side. You can see there, I even have a little bit less than I marked, but for the sake of consistency, that's what it is. You can see straight through the tube. This was actually my start as well because I didn't use it during last update and that is where I am now. Boom. Side note, I only show you the products that I have used. I can't show you all 18 because if I haven't used them, what's the point in showing you? Because <laughs> there'll be no change. I also want to say, if you want to see my entire lipstick, lip gloss, lip liner, lip product collection, some of you requested it, so I have filmed that. I'm currently editing it from three hours. I'm hopefully going to bring it down below one hour because I get a lot of lip products. And that will be up next week, and again, there will probably be two parts in it, because I just can't. I, I can't sit through an hour-long YouTube video, so it'll be in two parts, I think. If I can't get it under an hour, it might be even in three parts. But again, I digress. Let's continue on. This one is a stinker. <laughs> this is the Pacifica Color Drench Lip Tint. This is in the Blood Orange shade. This lives in my purse. I apply this probably twice a week. So let's say four weeks in a month, okay? We're just gonna go with it. Four months out of three, that's 12 times. 12 weeks I've used this 24 times, and there is still no change on my paper. What I do is I marked on my paper all my products, and this line is still exactly the same. There's no progress, even though I used it 24 times. So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna give this one more chance. One more chance, there better be some progress on you or I'm basically gonna replace it with something else because I can't just use a product 24 times and see no progress. First of all, it's disheartening. And second of all, I got 18 lip products to finish. <laughs> so like if this one doesn't wanna be used up, it can just die a slow and painful death in my collection and get mold on. That's gross. But when you see my lip product collection, you'll see that I did find something with mold on it. That's the reality of having this big of a collection. That's just the reality of it. Okay, something else I just started using. This is the Maybelline lipstick in the shade Peach. Maybelline Forever Lip Color in the shade Peach. This is what it looks like. This is a great summer shade for me. I was at that mark when I started and I'm actually just right below that mark. Can you see, I'm just right below it. So I didn't think it was enough to remark it but I have used this. I think it is a beautiful lip color, especially for summer, and I'm excited it's in this collection. This is probably the oldest lip product I have. I mean, I don't even think Maybelline makes this, this um, plastic case anymore. <laughs> so it's been around for a while. It's been around for a long time, but it's still good. So I still use it, which I'm gross. It's okay. The same problem is going on with this NYX one is that 
I'm just now using a lot of lip products and this is what I've got on my lips today. This is the NYX Pops Explosive. This is their Butter Balm. What are these called? What are officially these called? The Butter Lipsticks. And I'm still, this is what I was beginning at. This is the first update. I'm right below that line for the second update. Ooh, my hands are shaking. You can kind of see. I'm right below that line. I didn't think it was worth marking again, but I do have some progress on it. I probably used this four or five times. Same with that peach one. You know, if you only use lipstick four or five times, you're not going to see a huge change enough to mark it, but you will see the product going down, which is why I'm surprised about that tinted lip balm, that stupid Pacific <laughs> 24 should be enough. <laughs> five, you can see a change. Here's one I've done really well with. This is the baby lips that I apply every night. This is in number 10, pump, um, pumpkin. Nope. No, 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 not pumpkin. Peppermint. I apply this every night. I was here. So this is where I started the year. This is where I was last update. This is where I am now. And that's all I've got left. You can see that since I use this every night, there is good use on this. Uh, I have nothing to say about this. Y'all know baby lips are my favorite. So of course it's easy for me to go through those because I love them so much. <laughs> and I think the way the progress is going on this, oh, it just popped out. <laughs> Let me just snap that back on. Oh, the snap is gone. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, okay. Whoops. I have seemed to have broken it at some point. I think that I'll be able to, if I'm not done with this in April, then in May, there will be no problem using that up. This one will definitely be gone next month. This is the Baby Lips in 80 Peach Kiss. This is where I was at the beginning. This was first update. This is where I was, where I am right now, where I was. Nope. This is where I am. And then I just have that little bit left to go. So it's not a whole lot. This is the one I put down by my TV. So when I'm watching TV and I need a little lip product, I just toss this on. It has a color to it, so I have to be careful what I layer it with. But it's silky smooth and baby lips, of course, are my favorite, as I previously mentioned. <laughs> keep moving, Julie, keep moving. <laughs> okay, YSL lip oil. I have no idea where I am in this, but I have been using it. I like it. It's still going strong. I don't know where I am on it. It's a mystery. This is something that was in my spring project pan. I was hoping to finish this. I didn't, but I got good use out of it. So this is where I was at the beginning of the year. And then at the end of the project, I'm currently here. So I did use, you know, what, probably a fourth of it, 25% in the last two months. So hopefully, hopefully this will continue to go down. This is not my favorite lip gloss anymore. These used to be my favorite. I love the formula so much on these. Unfortunately, they're not anymore, but I will continue using it up. Um, great color pigmentation, but it's, it's a little sticky now. The other one that was in my Spring Project pan that I haven't yet used up, this is the Tarte Cabana Boy. And look how close I am. <laughs> look at that. A little nubbin. <laughs> Just a little nubbin of product left. I even have like the little hole in it now. So this will definitely be gone next update. But let me show you where I was. Here we go. This is where I was at the beginning of the year. And that is where I am now. Only on the little nubbin left. And this is, you know, Two months worth of use right here so I have a feeling that one and the baby lips are going to be my two empties hopefully at the end of this month. I am really hoping because I've only now used up one product and decluttered one out of 30 in this. Yes I want to use up 18 but like I need to get going. It is April like we are in the fourth, fourth month and I got a lot to go here so I'm feeling the pressure just a little bit. Just a little bit. Okay on Monday I said that I was doing a brand new Project Pan. I'm doing the Summer Movie Madness Project Pan with all of these wonderful women. I'm so excited about it. And in that project, I stuck this one. This is the Revlon Color Stay Moisture Stain. I forgot how much I like this product. I can't believe I forgot how much I like this product. It is so cool. It's such a cool formula. So it is a gel-like formula with really high pigmentation. It goes on like a gloss. And then by the end of the day, it dried into a stain. And it says moisture. And it does give nice moisture to the lips. I love this. I love this so much. Look how much I've used. As you can tell, I do pre-film my videos. So normally when you're watching this, you're like, mm, five days 
from when I'm filming this. Like, it's Easter weekend now, and you're not going to see this, I think, until Wednesday? Maybe next Saturday. I don't know. I think it's Wednesday. So, <laughs> look how much I use. This is three days worth of use. Right here. So that's exciting. Take note, Specifica. <laughs> Uh, I'm thrilled with this product. I'm so excited to use this this summer. Uh, this is in the shade Kane's Crush. And if you want to hear more about the project, just look at that video because it's really fun and all the women are fantastic in it. I also have this one. This is the Estee Lauder Passion Fruit Shimmer Pure Color 54. So let me get out my little book here so I can show you exactly what it is. Do you see my horrible handwriting here, number 10? I was there, I am now there. This is another one that's in my spring project pan. Nope, nope, back scratch. This is another one that is in my summer movie madness. And uh, that's what she looks like in that. So I do have a lot left on this, but I think it's really soft. So that, the use I just showed you on the paper, I must have mismarked it at the beginning because that was only probably five or six uses as well. Like, and I had a little girl who I love here in Germany. She put on this lipstick like three times and I don't think her lips are like really big to use them that much. I don't know if she maybe smushed it down or something. I don't know. It's kind of her fun play lipstick. She really likes how it shimmers and she likes how it's red. It makes her feel fancy. So I kind of share that with her. Yes, I know that's gross, but I kind of share it with her. I don't know where her mouth has been, but I trust her mom <laughs> to make her brush her teeth. <laughs> okay, final two products. These are both stick products. So this is the Nude Sticks in the shade Ripe. I can use this on my lips or my cheeks. I haven't used it on my cheeks yet. I'm not a big fan of cream products because I powder the heck out of my face. So let me show you. This is number three. Again, same sheet. I was at that line. I am now at that line. I'm a little progress, a little progress, but it counts, right? It counts, it totally counts. So that, oh, get to the end of the paper, there it is, that's where we're at. I think that that's like admirable. I've sharpened this probably twice, and then I wore down the tip a little bit, as you can see, since my last sharpening. I like this product, it's so creamy and easy to apply. I like this one, so I'm excited to get more use out of that one. Um, that is my only nude sticks, I think. I really like their products. I really do. I think it's nice, simple, easy makeup. I think that's really cool. Okay, then the last product. This is the Mally. This is the Lip Magnifier Lip Color. That's what she looks like. Let me pull off the cap. This is another one you have to sharpen. You can see I have not sharpened it, but I have worn down the tip. Again, I think this is another one I mismarked. I don't know. We'll see. But I was there. I'm now there. Boom. So, I don't know. I don't think I've worn one that much. But listen, I'm a human. Errors happen. The marks are all, like, kind of relative. <laughs> Give or take, like, a millimeter or so. But Thank you so much for watching. That's all I have for today. I think I did do on 13 products out of the 30 I picked up. So I think that's pretty good to be using 13 products and being able to show progress on them in the last month. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're doing this project, please let me know. Let me know when you update. I would love to watch and hear all about your lip products. They're my guilty pleasure. I buy a little too much of them. I'm trying not to buy them. Stop buying them, Julie. <laughs> but I will see you in my next one. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.